Bears win it in a shootout in Pittsburgh. Welcome to Post Game Live presented by Curato Insurance. Ashlyn Scott now back here in Philadelphia. It is the Flyers' first comeback win of the season. About time. <laughs> woo, woo. Took a while. But man, was it exciting. I don't even know where to begin, but I think you got to begin with Sam Harrison. Perfect in shootout, seven for seven. Unbelievable. The first 30 minutes of the game, it was an absolute snooze fest. Yeah. The, the last half of the game was incredible. The, the, the block shots, the, the goals, the penalty kill, the power play at the end. So uh, hats off to the Flyers special teams. We're big tonight. I don't even know how you would give the hero to, the dog mask, <laughs> because, I mean, the goaltender played so well. The PK was tremendous. You came back. You took advantage of everything. You, you held Crosby off the, off the score sheet. Just a great win for the Flyers. Yeah, and it's got to build so much momentum. And, and I have to go back to Airson because you've seen that shootout yep. when he saves it from Crosby, and he kind of chucks it out like, ah, no big deal. Like, that's such confidence building for a young goaltender. Or cocky, one of the two, right? I would say confidence. It from him. I just stop, Sid, the kid, no, no big deal, throws back to center ice so uh, I just love the attitude the Flyers uh, played tonight uh, they were initiating they were they were playing hard getting to the front of the net which is which is huge and uh, just a big W I love yeah, it back-to-back yeah, -back games right. too against the Pens uh, huge win and Bush said they could have buckled we've seen that in the past okay this is not going to work it'll get get beat late but they had all the energy coming in and boy that penalty kill unit is just it's beyond any expectation I think anybody could have to bring you back into a game. And, and a couple of more wins they could have had because that PK just keeps them in everything. It really does. And you could kind of feel this momentum building, especially the other night against the Devils when they got so close to winning that game and coming from behind after two down, being down 2-0. to zero. Now they finally get over that hump. And, man, they needed that because now you hope when you're down, now you have the belief, okay, we can come win this. Yeah, you, the belief to win, like you said, and then starts with one. All you need is one, and then you have that confidence to keep going. And uh, the starts are huge for me. They, they didn't have the start. They didn't have the first goal, but uh, they battled back and, and just kind of kept with it. It was, it, like I said, it was a boring game, not, not much going on, but they stuck with it, and uh, Flyers win a boring game. It was game. tight. Great. If you're in a metro and you get this stretch of games and you look at the standings, huge. and it's, it's, a, it's a big moment. I mean, in a franchise that's rebuilding, and you get your kids that aren't intimidated at all at the end of a game when those names come at you that the Penguins have. Yes, an absolute staple win for the Flyers over their rival, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let's now go back out to Pittsburgh for the crossover and say hello to JJ and Boost. What an exciting game it was at the end and we were just talking about who you're going to give the dog mask to the player of the game. Who's your pick? Because there's a ton of options. That's tough. I mean, if, if you go by the regulation part of the game is Tyson Forrester, but Sam Harrison <laughs> yeah. so big in that shootout. And uh, as you guys are saying, seven for seven now. Uh, you know, the Flyers have not loved the shootout since its inception, but they're four and one over the last two years and two and oh this year in shootouts. And this year, Sam Harrison backstopping both of those. So I'll go Harrison because of what he did late. Well, I'm going to go with Forster. He was my pick. He didn't go with the goalie. Oh. I, I, I was, I was, I just love the way Forster's playing right now and the confidence that he's playing with. You can just see that, uh, you know, he keeps growing his game. And, you know, we were wondering when that offense was going to, going to pop for him. Uh, three goals in his last two games. I thought he had a stellar hockey game here tonight. Obviously, Erson did a great job there in the shootout and in uh, overtime with the penalty kill. But there were some big plays on the penalty kill, too. Sanheim, a couple of huge blocks. Uh, this was a gutsy win. As I mentioned at the end there, you know, it can be difficult sometimes when you give up a late goal. I'm just impressed by the, the fact that they didn't buckle and they hung with it uh, and got the job done. Yeah, the, the power play was a little disappointing to start the third period, but the penalty kill, obviously getting the, the Scotty Lott and the shorthanded goal, and then the power play comes up huge. How, how big was that, the penalty kill, getting the goal, and then it kind of gives momentum for the power play to get going? No, I, I think, yeah, you're right, uh, Hartsey. I mean, the work that they've done on the penalty kill this year, I mean, it has been noticeable. Uh, this penalty kill is much better than it's been in, in, in a couple of years. And uh, the fact that they're a threat shorthanded as well, uh, to me, is something that has grown into their game. And that's something that Torts has talked about going into this year, trying to generate more offense. They're doing it shorthanded. It, it gives them energy. There's no question about it. Big goal by Lawton. And then uh, finding a way to stick with it in the third period. And Forrester getting that goal. I like the switch they made on the power play getting Couturier net front and letting Forster be more of a shooter as opposed to a guy that's tipping pucks in front of the net, plays into his strength. Um, you know, it seems to be paying off right now, but just a, a couple of great plays on specialty teams here tonight. And yeah. really, the, the, you talk about the penalty kill, and, and they uh, we talked about the power play a lot, that you're not building momentum. The penalty kill is building momentum for this team. Almost, the team takes a penalty, it's like, 
no big deal. We're going to get a chance probably or two, and they've done that. And they're now into the top ten in terms of percentage shutting down opposing power plays. And the Penguins' power play with all these Hall of Famers is in a horrific slump. So uh, it's amazing how these things go. And you guys mentioned Forster. He gets the first choice when you go on that shootout there. But he just looks like a guy that he – Oxygen for him, as Bill Clement used to say, to score goals. He really wants to be the guy that takes that shot, scores goals. How much is confidence a big part of his game right now? What, you want it? No, you got it. Well, I, I tell you, I mean, I think it's a, a big part of it, uh, Al. I mean, you know, and the thing is, you can't put the cart before the horse when it comes to trying to gain confidence. Like, you, you, you have to do the work. You have to do the intangibles, the little things right. Forster's done all of that. To me, that's what stands out about his game is that he's he's been solid in so many other areas of the game. Now it's starting to pay off with regards to uh, creating offense and generating offense. He should not stop. I mean, he should keep his foot on the gas. He should feel good about himself, look at video, see what he's doing, and build off of this because if he starts to get going, this is a big catalyst for the offense. Yeah, and a, you know, a guy who has the confidence of the coaching staff. and. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, the Flyers are now at the top of the league in terms of goals from 24 and younger players. So that you talk about a rebuilding team, you got to have that, right? And they are getting it from him and, and others as well. Well, J.J. and Boosh, thank you so much. Get home safe. We will talk to you soon on Monday for the next game against the Penguins as we now go to our PA Lottery winning moment. And there were a lot to choose from, but we got to go with Sean Couturier. It is just it's a staple move now. Oh, absolutely. When you look at a shootout goal, and it's the, I, got, I call it the Marty St. Louis move, Hartsey. They might and, rename it. <laughs> really, I mean, it is a, it's a thing of beauty. And, and he's so, he, I think he just absolutely knows he's going to roof this thing, and then he's going to score when he makes that move. And Bush said it, it changes the angle from back end, about six feet, and the goalie can't move that fast, right? He's kind of following the puck, and when the puck goes back end to forehand, the release is huge, and, and getting it over the pad, and that this is the big save here by Sammy Arison. Uh, it's a good, a good forward coming down on him, right, with Brian Rust, and he makes the big save and, and huge win. He's, yeah. he's excited about that one. Doesn't exactly do the Boucher dance, but you can tell yeah. he's excited about it. He's just, he's calm. He's cool, collected, and for Sam Harrison, we talked about it in pregame. From the start of the season, you were wondering what's going to happen with him. Now he's getting more consistent starts, and it was clear. He just needed more reps to build confidence and look at where he is now. Well, Torts named him uh, before anyone else yep. made the team, right? This is going to be our backup, and, and he's played well. He's earned his stars. Uh, he's earned his ice time, and, and the boys like playing in front of him, right? They're, yeah. they're, they're blocking shots. How many block shots tonight? A million? Yeah, yeah really. And if, and if you're that just the other goalie, the you know the guy that gets the bad end of the um, one back-to-back -back games. Mm -hmm. This isn't a game necessarily a backup goalie is going to get. Pittsburgh, uh, they don't play again until Monday, so good on him for earning this spot, and he'll get a lot more starts along the way now. Absolutely, and, and Scott Lawton as well, and so many guys kind of just got right, and you're still almost waiting for Travis Konechny, but once again, he's making his presence known on the ice. A lot of guys that you could go to and say, they just played just well. Yeah, yeah. You look right down the whole list. Uh, forwards, defensemen, defensemen, yeah. putting their bodies on the line, blocking shots. Seal made a huge he, block. A, a bunch of huge blocks, and, and uh, yeah, just everyone played great tonight. Everyone was chipping in, and that, that's that's a win that you can be like, everyone did something, and, and it's just mm -hmm. a huge uh, building block for the Flyers, for sure. Yeah, I like the fact that Bristol and knock Crosby down the end of the That game. was awesome. Was that, that was a freebie. <laughs> and I almost hurt Al's arm. I, yeah, when we scored it for sure, I gave him a whack. Sorry. I was like, oh, sorry, Al. It was an excited <laughs> high five, and then he hit Al's bad arm, and it was a lot going on. But Al's okay, so all is well. And so are the Flyers. They're okay. That big win over the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're going to talk much more about this game, Scott Lawton as well. So stay with us here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Cure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save 